I am going to show you how to burn the Ubuntu ISO to a CD. But before we do that, we need to make sure the file did not become corrupt during the download and the file is authentic. We will check the MD5 sum to check the file's integrity. More information about MD5 sums are on the Ubuntu Community MD5 sum help page if you are interested. Link is in the description. Since we are using Windows, we will need to download the Windows MD5 sum checking software called WinMD5 sum. Click the link and it will take you to where you can download the program. Download the program. Run the installer, following the instructions in the installation wizard. Open the MD5 sum program. Browse to the Ubuntu ISO you downloaded. Now we need to compare the MD5 sum generated to Ubuntu's MD5 hashes site. There, it lists what the MD5 sum is supposed to be. You will need to choose what version of Ubuntu you downloaded. In my case, I downloaded the regular 10.10 .10 desktop edition 32-bit. So I will copy the MD5 sum hash listed next to it. Paste it in the compare box and click compare. The MD5 sums match. We are good to go. We can burn the Ubuntu ISO to a CD now. If the MD5 sums did not match, download the Ubuntu ISO and try again. I am going to show you how to burn the ISO to a CD using Windows 7. Windows 7 has a burning program you can use. If you are using Windows Vista or below, watch this video. Burning the Ubuntu ISO to a CD is really easy. Put a blank CD in your CD drive. Right click on the ISO and select Burn Disk Image. Check the Verify Disk After Burning box and click Burn. It's that simple. Once the burning is complete, you are all set to install Ubuntu. Watch one of the following videos, depending on how you want to install Ubuntu. Thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe.